In studio with us right now, Andrew Nave, as well as Mark McGowan, Meet and Green, and it's M-E-A-T, Meet and Green. Andrew, how did this all come about? Sure. So, you know, as a family, we've been out farming in Andover for six generations, and, and Dad and Grandpa really focused on the beef cattle side in the 1970s and uh, developed a really, really high-quality product, and we've always had a dream of having our own branded product. Um, and that, you know, never really pursued it because we were afraid of the costs and, uh, and the challenges with it. But with everything going on with COVID and stuff and the challenges of getting um, cattle to slaughter and, and, and that stuff, we decided to take a strong look at, at building our own plant and uh, ended up doing it. And here we are. Um, and a big part of that that we wanted to be was, you know, A, to sell everything locally that we could or as much as we could and to have our own store right there in the plant and so we opened our operation down there on june 2nd when we started and we had intended to get our retail store going a little sooner than this but only can handle so many headaches at a time so we wanted to do it right too and uh, so we put it off for a little bit and then got uh, mark here on board to help us get the retail store up and running talk a little bit about the location you're right there on uh, highway 67 yep on 7th avenue in comanche and i i bet you can't wait till they get that roundabout <laughs> yep there's a big old sign right right in front of our entrance we're so we're Right across the uh, Ipsco from the old Ipsco plant, yeah. the other side of the street, 1902 7th Avenue, Comanche. You just have to ignore the road close sign and come on by because uh, we're down there and hopefully, you know, knock on wood a few weeks at Roundabout will be done. But, uh, yep, we're, we're going to be there for the store starting this Thursday from uh, 10 to 6. And then on Saturday, then going forward from there, it'll be Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and then Saturdays from 9 to 2 p.m. Okay, and I would imagine a grand opening eventually down the road. Yep, we, uh, it's really a shot in the dark for us on what products will move and what products we need to stock. And so we kind of want to start slow and get a good feel for it and our technolo technology side, our point of sale system needs tested and all that. So. We're going to step in easy, and hopefully in the next, uh, in the first few weeks of November, we'll do a grand opening. All right, and before we visit with Mark, just finally, what are some of the comments you're hearing from people? Because I know you're well-known in yeah. the area when you decided to do something like this. What have they had to say to you? Yeah, it's been nothing but encouragement from everybody and everybody wishing us well. It's a, it's a, it's a very risky undertaking and, a, and, a, and very ambitious, but everybody locally from the business community and then from the ag community is extremely supportive all the way at the state level even all our elected officials regardless of what party are very very much behind us and we got a lot of challenges we'll face at our small size but you know we've been very blessed to get a very talented team um, on board and working hard on our behalf and it, it's been it's been nothing but well received well heading up that talented team a talented individual as well mark mcgowan mark great to see you i was wondering Thank if you. it was the mark mcgowan that i knew from years ago yep. with riverboat days and of course with wendy's yep. how you been pretty good so how did this happen for you well i was in houston for 10 years uh running about 15 restaurants at one of the busiest airports in the world and then COVID happened so I just made the decision to move back here, and these guys kind of recruited me, and now I'm opening their store. So that's good. Now, is this area like a new challenge? So. Has this area been home for you, Mark? Is this where you kind of grew up, or what? Yeah, I went to school over in Fulton, and then was uh, with the Wendy's here. Was part owner there for a while, and ran about uh, eight Wendy's here in Iowa. Okay, well, great to have you back in Thank Iowa <laughs> again. So, talk a little bit about what people are going to have available at Naves Meet and Greet. Mm -hmm. Well, our big um, business plan is to really keep it local. You know, we like the local theme, so we're doing like Sweetheart Bakery products, kind of ties into, you know, we plan on selling lots of hamburgers and, you know, uh, especially, you know, uh, summer, fall is almost over, but I think people will be, still be ex excited about the high quality. It's 85% lean meat. So uh, we'll have Sweetheart buns and products and lots of rubs and spices. Uh, we're using, uh, we have honey that's made right here in Clinton. We have uh, country candies. That's an Iowa product. Uh, we're using Jaeger Locker for some of our uh, pork products since we obviously are, are beef in the production area in the back of the, the unit. So, Now you brought a couple of things with you. 
Yeah, this is an Amish product. We have lots of this stuff. Uh, it's Jaeger. It's out of Illinois. So we'll have lots of salsas, and, and they have uh, fruits and vegetables. We have olives, pickles, good stuff that, you know, with horseradish sauce. And like, I've already, some of our employees have bought it and just talked about how great it was. And uh, it surprised me because I already, you know, I didn't order a lot because it's hard to tell what's going to happen when we open. But, you know, people seem to like it. So I may be doing an order pretty quickly on some of the products we've already added to the rest or the, the shop. Andrew talked about it briefly there at the start, but again, you're going to be opening up on Thursday, and what are the hours going to be? We'll be uh, 10 to 6 during the week. That way when people get off work, you know, they'll still have time. They can come by the, by the shop and hopefully pick up some cuts of meat if they're looking for dinner that night or for something for the weekend. Mm -hmm. And then Saturdays will be open from 9 to 2. Okay. And we'll stay open later if there's customers still in there. So. I would imagine you're probably, <laughs> excuse me, looking forward to the holidays, people coming in, getting various meats and that for the holiday meal. Yep. Uh, we'll be, you know, um, after we open, kind of get through the, uh, the soft opening here, but we are already putting a plan together for some holiday things. You, uh, we don't produce the ham, but we'll probably be putting some spiral hams up, some gift baskets and trying to uh, find, you know, Iowa Midwestern type products for the store for the holidays as well. You mentioned the employees have been trying some of the uh, products there. Uh, mm -hmm. how, do you, have you got a pretty good workforce put together, Mark? Pretty good team down there? Yep. Right now it's just me and I've hired another girl uh, with a lot of experience in retail uh, and meat market. She came from Fairway. She's doing awesome. We'll probably add a third person as we go, but the Nave family is very helpful. You know, Kristen's wife said she'd come over and help me on a Saturday. And so if it's busier than we expect, we may be recruiting some of our back-of-the-house people to help us. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, I'm, I'm looking for I'll be down on Thursday when you do have that soft opening. And, uh, again, Nave family beat six generations. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that, uh, that is hard to believe. Yeah, that's what uh, it's been. Uh, you know, it takes a, some luck and a lot of hard work. Um, from a lot of people to make that make that length of business happen. Now you mentioned Clinton County, but you got Jackson County roots too, don't you? Uh, uh, well, I grew up in Clinton County, and we got a we got one farm that's in Jackson County. Yeah. But I but I you know went to school at East Central up yeah. there in Miles at, in Jackson County. That's right. Yeah. So you got to be excited about this. Uh, if people want to find out more information, is there like Facebook, social yep. media? Is that available, Andrew? Yep. So we got a uh, Facebook account, it's the main one, uh, Nave Family Beef, right there on Facebook, and then uh, I'm just starting up an Instagram account. Um, I'm not really familiar with that that one too much, but uh, and then uh, our website's www.navefamilybeef.com. And uh, people already could have been ordering, and a lot of people have been ordering through there and doing a pickup at the store. Um, so you can either, A, call into the retail store number, which I'll let Mark give here in a minute, or you can go on and shop online and schedule a pickup. Um, and once we kind of get through this soft opening, we do plan to ship direct to consumer, too, through the website. So, All right, very good. So, yeah. Mark, uh, what is the, uh, the number and the information people need to know as you get started? Well, like Andrew said, uh, NaveFamilyBeef.com, and then there's a link to our retail shop. We're already selling burger packs. We have a griller pack. I put together um, a couple weeks after I got there. Uh, you can buy uh, ribeyes, which probably is our most popular cut. Uh, we have a box of 12 of those, and we have eight sirloins. Um, I even put filet mignons up and sold a couple of those. Beef tips, um, a steak pack, which has 16 steaks, four different kinds, so you get four of each. Yeah. And I think that'll be popular as uh, people check out our website. And then, you know, they can also come in and we have the frozen stuff available. Also, they can buy a whole uh, box set, the th same things that are online when they walk in, you know, if they haven't had time to go online and shop online. So, All right. Well, again, thank you both for coming in and yeah. congratulations with this endeavor. So, again, it's Meet and Greet. How'd you yeah. come up with that name, man? Actually, my dad came up with it. He uh, he just uh, kind of spit it out, and we liked it and, uh, and, <laughs> and went for it. But, yeah, I think the phone number, if the people want to call in, is 563-278-8333. All right, very good. Thank you both again for yep. coming in. Thank you. Of course, one of Clinton and KR.